What's going on? Good morning from uh, Mount Katahdin. Katahdin. Mount Katahdin. Oh, yeah. My name is Dante Luna. I'm a filmmaker, photographer from Rosendale, Master. We're both from Rosendale. It's my cousin Al Alvaro Luna. They call him Al. And uh, when we were younger, we used to go on these uh, camping trips in the White Mountains. So we yeah. spent like a week out there and, Best times, man. Yeah, yeah. and destroy mountains and just live. We're well, not destroy them, we just, you know, we conquer them and, and, you know, go up them. And we're about to conquer a uh, nice edge. New experiences, man. Knife's Edge. Knife's Edge. Nothing comes close. It's uh, one of the tallest mountains, and uh, it is the tallest, the tallest mountain, mountain in Maine. In Maine. Uh, definitely the, the highest uh, peak out here in Maine. So we're trying to conquer uh, the high peaks in the state out here. Which would be awesome. I'm, I'm amped. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm so excited, man. We got here at around 4.20 in the morning, and they opened the gate at 6.10ish. Um, and we're almost through to the parking lot. So we have to get here early to get to the parking lot. Yeah. And then, um, you know, we're gonna hike up the mountain and then hike along the, the ridge and then hike back down back to the parking lot. So, so far so good. All right, what do we got here? We found some, uh, it looks to, be, to me, some black bear dung. You can tell by the berries that's in it. Um, I'm, and I'm only saying it's black, it's a black and black bear because of the area we're in. It could be a grizzly. I swear, I hope it ain't. But <laughs> that's what it looks like. Due to the size, too. That's awesome. I haven't seen some of this stuff in a long time, bro. You can actually... No, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the summit right there. We're good. I want to say, like, like, three hours tops. But we'll make it, bro. We banged out the first hour. Oh, yeah. We're almost there. This view is crazy. We just came up this path here. We just came up this path right here. Right at the top of it. You can see part of the ridge. I'm laying down here on the side of the cliff. We still got a lot more to climb. Uh, up that way. You said two hours. We're like in between the valleys. Just descended from that thing. We gotta go up this thing right here. To go around that. <laughs> so far. So far. So, to give you an update, we are at the beginning of... 
we are at the beginning of Knife's Edge. I'm so tired that I forget what the hell's going on. We just left the Paloma, uh, left the Paloma Summit. And we had to hike up. It was like a jagged, like rock climb, which I was not anticipating. It was not easy at all, but we got it done. So I believe that's the summit there. We gotta walk, walk this. We have to walk this ridge right here all the way down. And then the parking lot is somewhere at the end over there. So we still got a long way to go. Just enjoying the scenery, beautiful weather. We almost uh Yo, stay, stay, and keep you, keep it tight, bro. Keep it tight. Yeah, don't worry. But just when you get closer to it, you'll know. Cross that bridge when we get there. We're on the blue paint. We ain't gotta go up. No, the route ain't up. It's it's flat. The knife's edge, the edge of the knife's edge right here. We just finished uh, the meat and potatoes of Knife's Edge. That was not an easy hike at all. I mean, if you're born an athlete, then yeah, I guess. Um, you ain't about just being physical, though, bro. You gotta have nerves still. Yeah, nerves is a big thing. So I got nerves. My stamina and endurance, not so much. I got lapped by like 20 senior citizens and they left me in the dust. So I tip my hat to them. They were in great shape. I'm 33. I think I did all right. Like a couple 
couple hours behind schedule so definitely take your time have fun um at some points it's too nerve-wracking to enjoy the scenery so you just want to stay focused um i'm in a moderate uh, experienced uh hiker i'll say still amateur even though i have uh I like to make sure I was younger, but I was a whole nother person. Like, you know, I had a lot more energy. So, this time around, I just have sheer willpower. Uh, how you feel about those clouds right there? You're getting nauseous right now when you shoot. You're going too fast. We're literally in the cloud. We're not at the summit yet, we're almost there. That's just fine, bro. Good pleasure. Yeah. Oh, you see that crow? There it is. It was a challenge trying to do the climb and document it as well. So um, I would say pack light if you're gonna document it because I brought everything. I brought lenses and I shouldn't have brought only used one. Five thousand two hundred sixty-seven feet, baby. It's the highest peak for me. It's the northern uh, starting point of Appalachian Mountain Trail. Too. Getting some help. Getting some water filters. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. Oh, that's how the pump works? This one, yeah. Look at that. Look at that fucking thing we just escaped from, bro. That shit's fire, man. I'm just like, let's just get the fuck out of here. We just escaped from this. <laughs>